Okay, great. In this video, I'm going to be talking about private label articles. How you can take private label articles, whether you got it for free or whether you got it for paid, and how to take them and reshape them into any format that you want. So, what I mean by that is let's say that you get a hold of a private label article. You take that and it's the concept and the idea of that article, the heart of the article. You take that and you can take it and you can either bundle a bunch of articles together and recreate an ebook. You can either do that, you can take the article, rewrite it, and uh, make audio articles. Or you can take the ideas. It, let's say that the article is about how to do this, how to do that. You can make it into a video. Or let's say you get the idea. Let's say that the article deals with a problem and it solves a problem. You could take that idea and elaborate more on that and brainstorm on it and create a piece of software that is so basic yet so powerful that it completes and solves a problem. So using these ideas you can go just about anywhere you want to go. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first question that I want to answer is where do you find them? Well, you can look at Google. You can do a search on private label articles, free private label articles. In fact, let's go ahead and do that right now. So right now we're at Google, and let's do a search on private label articles. If we do that search, we'll be able to find several private label article sites, or sites that actually review private label article sites. What I highly recommend is that you choose mainly the sites on this site, mainly because you haven't really reviewed these sites over here. So it's good to find a site that reviews a site, like Associated Programs. If you go to this page, you can actually go here, and you can find articles written by Alan Gardeen that has information on finding good private label sites. Now in this video we're going to grab a private label article and we're going to do specific things with it so that you can get a better idea on how you can take that article and reshape it into any form that you want to. And by that, what I mean by that is more than just stamping your name on it. You do so much, that way you make it your own product, the product is unique, and that way you can increase your conversion rates and you stand out from the thousand other people that just stamp their name on that same private label article. So you can actually go through these and pick and choose different sites. Now I'd, I'd highly recommend this method mainly because there are a lot of private label articles that are floating around in the industry. But a lot of them are fraudulent, they could be stolen from people's blogs, you know, this and that. So, a lot of times it's good to find sites that are out there and do some research on those sites before you actually buy from those sites. You could even ask the article owners, you know, how, how are they producing their, you know, videos, are they doing it themselves, are they, you know, doing that. You can sort of tell, but anyways, this is a good way to search for it. And another great way is to search for free private label articles. A lot of people actually offer free private label articles just so that you can, they can get you on their list or they could offer you free private label articles up front and then offer you a one time offer on the back end. So for whatever you do, let's go ahead and grab a private label article. One site that I highly recommend you to check out is called Resell Rights Mastery. It's run by a guy named Edmund Lowe, and I know him, and he's really good at keeping this site updated. If you go to Resell Rights Mastery by Edmund Lowe, and we'll actually log in here. And 
in the gold membership, you can actually see a bunch of private label articles. You see 25 articles on traffic and SEO, 50 articles on real estate, and gardening, and landscaping, credit card debt, and other things like that. I preferably like to choose the ones that say no restrictions, private label rights included, just because you can do so much more with that type of a license. Now it's a good thing to check out the license before you buy or before you get any private label rights products. So this is one of the ones that caught my eye when I was glancing through them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click here and download those articles. Once I've downloaded them, I'll go ahead and look at the articles. Alright, so we're looking at them right now, and usually they will come with a license or some sort of terms. So we'll want to go ahead and open that up, and you can open that in any notepad or anything like that says yes can be given away, yes can be packaged, edit completely with your name on it, can be broken down into articles and used as web content. So we can just do just about anything we want with this. So now that we're looking at a list of articles, the question is what can you do now? How can you take those articles and reshape them into a different format or a different type of product? So the question for you to ask is what would you like to do? Would you like to make a video? Would you like to make an ebook? Would you like to make audio articles? Or would you just like to rewrite the article and put it up on a blog and things like that? So there are many many things that you can do with these things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an article and we're just going to go through the process of rewriting that article. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can take that article or those articles and let's say that we've already edited a specific number of articles. We'll go ahead and turn those into a short report and we'll do different things here and there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our folder view so that we can see the actual files and I'm going to open up the article list so that we can see what articles are being provided here so let's go ahead and choose an article so as we can see here we we notice that there are a lot of articles some articles talk about search engines keyword density logs search engine ranking monitoring your website page titles, web hosting, and web hosting. In this case, I'm going to scratch out anything to do, not to do with search engine optimization uh, specifically. So basically my goal here is to narrow the list down. So I'm going to narrow it down to about five. And we can see that all of this relates to search engine optimization. However, I want to basically make it so specific so that I can get five articles that I think would flow together and that will create a, an actual good report. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have narrowed it down to five articles. Tips to increase ranking and website traffic. Tips to get repeat web traffic. Using keywords in page titles keyword density and some other keyword research tools so basically I'm trying to use things that people can actually implement so if I go down the list here and I'll basically just grab things keyword density we're going to use that we're going to assume that people sort of know a little about search engine optimization but they want direct tips uh, they don't really care about what is search engine optimization and things like that. So, all 
All right, so now that we have highlighted the five things, five articles that we want, I'm going to put it into a new folder. I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and we'll call that folder Articles Chosen. So I'm going to go and copy those articles into here. And my goal is to basically edit or rewrite these articles. Uh, basically you don't want to use the articles as is because who knows a thousand other people probably did that too. So what we'll do is we'll start by editing the first article and then I'll edit the other articles later on but we will just show you the first one just so that you can get a good idea. Okay, so we're looking at the article that talks about tips to increase ranking and website traffic. We're definitely going to want to change the headline, specifically because everybody is probably going to be using that same headline. And if their blog post is that same headline, then people are going to wonder. So you'll definitely want to change it. And you basically want to use any creativity that you can. So you could change words, you can change, you know, the way it's written. Just make it into your own words. Okay, so when I'm rewriting an article or if I'm reading or writing something, uh, what you want to do is you want to engage the, the viewer or the reader. You want to make it so that it's easy to read. So you want to kind of ask questions and elaborate a little bit. Uh, don't be too wordy. Uh, make it straight to the point but you get your point across so instead of saying tips to increase ranking in website traffic you could say how to increase website ranking and traffic or how to increase your website traffic and ranking. So you kind of switch it up a little bit so that it's very different. And it says it is worth cataloging the basic principles to be enforced to increase website traffic in search engine rankings. We could erase that, make it more simple just by using a simple simple principles you can help your website optimization basically you want to make it sound like yourself if you read something how would you rewrite it or how would you read it yourself per se you can even say do you have, instead of saying create a site with valuable content, it's being too formal, you're sort of saying, hey you, do this. Instead of doing that, you could say, do you have a website with valuable content? Ask the question, basically. If not, and you want to make it flow so you want to go from here 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 sort of like in cumulative order and like in a sequence so you could say once you have that website simply place primary and secondary keywords within the first 25 words of your front page content and remember to spread it evenly also say don't forget to research and know who your target market is for this reason Make sure that you use the right keywords 
or the right keyword phrases to attract your target customers. Want to make sure that you save it in between. And if we use this from here to here, we can say, want some examples to use your keywords? One way is to put your keywords in areas of your website, such as the title, meta, and more. You see how I, I jumped from here to here and I made it flow? So it, it flows together, it's like you connect the dots. You connect from here, talking about keywords briefly, and then examples of keywords, and then we jump down. So you make it flow. That's basically your whole goal. So now that you understand you know, how to do that, uh, we'll go ahead and do the rest. Okay, great. So let's assume that I've changed the whole article. With that in mind, let's say that we went ahead and changed these other articles here. Uh, so what we want to do is we'd like to first create a report. So out of all these five little files, we basically can open up all these files like so. And we can copy them, select all, basically go ahead and copy those and go to that same article and put it in the same page. So this would be an example of a report where you put all of the articles into one report. To make an ebook, you would probably need to have more articles or you can elaborate even further from those articles. So let's say that you have 10 articles. But let's say that you have so many ideas that you could write 20, 30, 40 more pages and you can create an ebook. So that's another way you could do it. Basically use the articles as a starting point. And the next thing I want to go over is audio articles. Another way, a great way is to turn articles into audio articles. To do that, I would highly recommend you can hire a professional voice over artist. Now if you don't have a good microphone and you don't want to read the articles and you want to get some professional that has a good voice because that's very important you can go to a place called guru.com so let's go ahead and go there right now it's just g-u-r-u dot com that's a great place to find people to do voiceovers I would not necessarily use Renacoder or Scriplance to do that I'd use Guru.com or Elance.com, but mainly Guru.com is a great place to go. Another place to go is DefiningVoice.com. Defining Voice, I actually use this guy because he's actually a local radio DJ, but he actually does a lot of voiceovers for great prices. You can check out demos if you like. So it's definingvoice.com. Or you can go to a place called Voice123. Voice123.com. So at Voice123, you can actually find, search through talents, you know, find people who could give you demos or find demos and turn those articles basically into audio articles. So we've looked at reports, we've looked at ebooks, we've looked at audio articles. You could even turn them into videos with audio videos. So now you know how to reshape all of this into a different format reports, ebooks, audio articles, or just plain.